we talked Latrell on the phone about obviously it had to take a very special situation for you to leave Norfolk State um, and now you're going to be at East Carolina. What was it about this opportunity with the Pirates that made you decide to leave Norfolk State? Well, you know, it, it starts with Coach Houston. Uh, Coach Houston's a winner. Uh, he's proven. And, uh, you know, anytime you're willing to give up your program to go and join someone else's, uh, it's got to be a special deal. And uh, my family and I went down and we spent time with Mike and his wife and uh, his kids and uh, Brandy Chase and I just, uh, you know, felt like it was a fit for us. And, you know, the thing that I want people to know is this isn't a situation about what Norfolk State didn't do or about uh, there being any negative situation in Norfolk State. This was an opportunity that we didn't feel like we could turn down. And this was an opportunity that uh, we felt like we wanted to be a part of. Uh, we love Norfolk State. Uh, we have a great president. We have a great athletic director. Uh, we have a very, very special group of kids. And uh, Tuesday, man, was one of the hardest days of my life, having to explain to those kids that I wouldn't be their coach anymore. Uh, you know, so it was tough. But, I mean, as you get through it, you navigate it. You just think that uh, East Carolina is a very special place, and we have the opportunity to win and be successful. And uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Um, did you have a relationship with Coach Houston before going down to Greenville and meeting with him and his wife? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, I spent time with James Madison, and uh, there have been guys on Coach Houston's staff that are that, that are very important to me uh, in the past. And, and and when you have the opportunity to meet good coaches, good coaches kind of click and and they, and they do things. And uh, Mike's a special guy, and uh, any anytime you get the opportunity to work for a guy who's won a national championship, who's been successful. Uh, Mike's climbed the ladder from Division II to FCS to FBS, and uh, it, it, it was you know almost a no-brainer for us to go and be a part of this program. I'm glad you mentioned the fact that it wasn't nothing against Norfolk State, nothing negative against the Spartans for you to leave there and go to East Carolina, because obviously with the pandemic and the decision not to play not only in the fall but in the spring was talked about around social media. And it sounds like that did not play a role at all in this decision to leave Norfolk State and go to East Carolina. No, I did not. Uh, you know, when you have to look Juwan Carter in the eye and tell him, hey, I'm not going to be your coach anymore, it's difficult. Uh, but it had nothing to do with Norfolk State. Norfolk State did a tremendous job managing the pandemic. As I said, our president, our athletic director, uh, you know, we were, we were in lockstep in terms of doing what we thought was best for our guys. And, uh, and we did it. And this was just a special situation that came about. And, you know, it was a situation that was about the Scott family, not necessarily about Norfolk State at all. And uh, we love Norfolk State. We'll miss Norfolk State. And uh, we'll continue to be a part of the Norfolk State community. But it was just an opportunity that we, we didn't feel like we could uh, turn down. How, how much of a, I guess, a, a, an opportunity to get back in FBS play a part in this decision? Well, they had a lot to do with it. Uh, it was an opportunity to get, get back into FBS with the right people. Uh, and obviously, you know, we all want to be at the top of our profession. And when you can do it in a situation that's comfortable for you and your family, uh, it, it's that much easier. Uh, as I said, we went down and we spent time with Mike and his family, and uh, it just felt like the, the right fit. Uh, you know, my son Chase played with Mike's boys and, and you can kind of get connections and, and, and feelings like that. And I, it was just a, a unique opportunity that, as I said, we felt like we couldn't turn down.